some of the lines are thousands of meters all the way up to 25 miles, and this is quite incredible. This is Unveiled, and today we're counting down enduring mysteries from the mists of prehistory. Do you need the big questions answered? Are you constantly curious? Then why not subscribe to Unveiled for more clips like this one? And ring the bell for more thought-provoking content. Number 10. The Purpose of Stonehenge Every year, a million people descend on Stonehenge. They ask the age-old questions about this mysterious monument. This famed prehistoric monument, located in Wiltshire, England, was constructed around 5,000 years ago. Its origins have been a topic of speculation, with conjectures including an astronomical observatory, a religious site, or a place for rituals. Recent archaeological findings suggest Stonehenge may have been part of a larger sacred landscape, including nearby burial mounds and ceremonial pathways. Nearly 60 human burials were excavated here, many in that outer ring of 56 pits known as the Aubrey Holes. The transportation and erection of its massive stones, some weighing up to 25 tons, remains an impressive feat considering the limited technology of the time. The alignment of the stones with solstices suggests a connection to celestial events. Stonehenge's design and construction exhibit sophisticated understanding of mathematics and astronomy by its builders. And what it's probably telling us is about a connection in people's minds between the sun and the seasonal cycle and how by having the right ceremonials at the right time, they could keep in harmony with the cosmos. Number 9. The Settlement of the Americas The timing and route of the first human settlement in the Americas have been the subject of extensive research and discussion among archaeologists and anthropologists. While the traditional theory suggests migration from Asia to North America via the Bering Land Bridge around 13,000 years ago, recent discoveries challenge this timeline. There are plenty of unresolved questions about this, though, like when exactly the migration happened and why the ancient Native American and East Asian genomes are so different. Sites like Monte Verde in Chile and Bluefish Caves in Canada suggest an earlier presence, potentially predating the Clovis culture. This gave rise to a new theory, that humans may have traveled by boat, starting in Beringia and sailing down the coast some 16,000 years ago. These findings imply alternative migration routes, including coastal or island hopping paths. Genetic studies have added complexity to the debate, indicating multiple waves of migration. Understanding the initial peopling of the Americas sheds light on migration patterns and the adaptation of humans to new environments. Number 8. The Tassili Najer Rock Art Numerous paintings, some dating back 8,000 years, give us a glimpse of how life changed and evolved in the Sahara over the centuries. Located in the Sahara Desert of Algeria, the Tassili Najer Plateau features one of the most important collections of prehistoric rock art in the world. The art, dating back to the Neolithic period, includes thousands of paintings and engravings depicting a wide range of subjects. This three-meter-tall painting of a godlike figure is the oldest painting in the area. His biceps and horns are symbols of power and strength. These works illustrate a transition from a wetter climate with savanna-like environments to the current desert conditions. The art provides clues about the lifestyle, beliefs, and environment of the prehistoric inhabitants of the region. The depiction of animals such as giraffes, elephants, and cattle indicate a once diverse and abundant wildlife. Paintings dating from around 6,000 years ago show people tending large herds of cows, but there are also scenes of battles with bows and arrows. Number 7. The Extinction of Megafauna When in recent history the fossils of megafauna began to emerge, people were as intrigued as they were confused. Around 10,000 years ago, the world witnessed the abrupt disappearance of large prehistoric animals known as megafauna, including the woolly mammoth, saber-toothed cats, and giant ground sloths. Despite its looming presence, the giant sloth was a gentle herbivore. Not really built for speed, it weighed in at over two tons. The leading theories for their extinction are overhunting and climate change, but a definitive cause remains elusive. Some researchers suggest a combination of both factors, along with other possibilities like disease and environmental changes. The loss of these megafauna had profound ecological impacts, altering ecosystems and the biodiversity of regions worldwide. 
Their extinction also coincides with the end of the last ice age, adding complexity to the understanding of climate and environmental shifts during prehistoric times. So one theory of why the mammoth went extinct is that as the climate warmed and the forest spread, so the mammoth progressively lost its grassland habitat, and then the mammoth is extinct. Number six, the Lascaux cave paintings. This cave in southwestern France is renowned for its Paleolithic paintings, estimated to be over 17,000 years old. These paintings depict a variety of animals, human figures, and abstract symbols, showcasing a high level of artistic skill for the time. Cave paintings were mostly created with red or black pigments made from rocks. Some artworks were painted directly onto cave walls, while some were first engraved into the stone with tools. The purpose of the paintings is unknown, with potential explanations ranging from religious or ceremonial functions to expressions of early storytelling or documentation. Symbols repeated across artworks may indicate that those symbols had agreed upon meanings among the artists. Thus, perhaps cave art also represents the earliest form of graphic communication. The cave's discovery in 1940 provided invaluable insights into Upper Paleolithic life and art. The variety of animals painted, including horses, deer, and large cats, indicates a rich biodiversity in the region during that period. The paintings also raise questions about the symbolic and communicative abilities of early humans and their relationship with their environment. Cave artists were prehistoric naturalists. Their detailed drawings may teach us about the appearance and behavior of animals that have long been extinct. Number five, the origin of language. Language is probably the hardest problem in science. Nobody really knows how it works, and nobody really knows where it came from. And yet we can all do it. How language began is a complex and unresolved issue in the field of linguistics and anthropology. The lack of direct evidence makes it challenging to pinpoint when and how humans developed structured symbolic communication. Theories on the origin range from a gradual evolution of language from animal calls to a sudden emergence due to genetic mutations. The fossil record of our ancestors and relatives can still give us important clues about the time when we first talked. The development of language is closely tied to the evolution of the brain, particularly regions associated with speech and cognitive processing. The appearance of symbolic artifacts such as cave paintings and carved figurines suggests the presence of abstract thinking and communication skills in early humans. Number four, Gobekli Tepe's purpose. It's a real mystery here. Who built this place? And more importantly, how could they have done it? Located in southeastern Turkey, Gobekli Tepe is one of the oldest temple complexes known, dating back to around 11,000 years ago. The site predates Stonehenge and the Egyptian pyramids, challenging traditional views of the development of complex societies. Gobekli Tepe consists of massive stone pillars arranged in circles, many carved with elaborate animal motifs and abstract symbols. To fashion those and carve them and set them up in these structures was just absolutely amazing. The site's construction implies a high degree of social organization and communal effort, suggesting that religious or ritual activities played a significant role in early societies. Gobekli Tepe remains a subject of speculation, and possible explanations include a ceremonial site, a center for a cult, or a gathering place for hunter-gatherers. Inevitably in archaeology, if we don't know what something is for, we think of ritual. But really, it's pure speculation. Number three, the Venus figurines. It's the earliest representation of a human being, and it's the absolute root of figurative depiction as we know it. The small prehistoric statuettes depicting female figures found across Europe and parts of Asia date back to between 30,000 and 10,000 years ago. These figurines vary in style and detail, but most share common features, such as emphasized breasts and hips. The widespread distribution of these figurines suggests a shared cultural or symbolic significance across different Paleolithic societies. Theories include representations of fertility or motherhood, symbols of a mother goddess, or simply artistic expressions. Some researchers propose that the figurines may have been used in rituals or served as amulets. We can see very clearly, for instance, that the figurine has no head. 
right? Instead of a head, the figurine has a ring. It was perhaps worn at times, suspended on a string of some sort. The variation in their forms, from realistic to highly stylized, indicates a diversity of cultural practices and beliefs among prehistoric peoples. The sexual attributes are key, which clearly link this depiction to ideas of reproduction, fecundity, sexuality, ideas that are absolutely essential to all of humanity also today. Number two, the Nazca Lines. They lie neglected for more than a thousand years and aren't rediscovered until the era of the airplane. Peru is the location of the Nazca Lines, a series of large geoglyphs created by the Nazca culture between 500 BCE and 500 CE. The designs, visible only from a high vantage point or the air, include various animals, plants, and geometric shapes. Some of the lines are thousands of meters all the way up to 25 miles, and this is quite incredible. The purpose of these lines is still debated, with hypotheses ranging from astronomical markers to religious or ceremonial functions. Excavations suggest the Nazca lines are sacred sites where people smash pots and make offerings for rain. The geoglyphs were made by removing the reddish-brown iron oxide-coated pebbles that cover the surface of the Nazca Desert and revealing the light-colored earth underneath. The preservation of the lines, despite being in a region prone to earthquakes and wind erosion, is remarkable. Number 1. The Disappearance of Neanderthals Neanderthals, a distinct species or subspecies of archaic humans, lived in Eurasia until approximately 40,000 years ago. Their disappearance coincides with the arrival and spread of anatomically modern humans in Europe and Asia. If we look at evolution in some way and, and ourselves as some kind of pinnacle of evolution, then everything else has to have a secondary position. Various attempts have been put forward to explain their extinction, including competition for resources, climate change, and a lower reproduction rate. But I think the last Neanderthals were struggling. We know genetically the Neanderthals were challenged. They had very low diversity, very low numbers. Genetic evidence shows interbreeding between Neanderthals and modern humans, with traces of Neanderthal DNA present in the modern human genome. You know, we've got something like 2%, many of us, in, in our DNA of, of Neanderthals. The Neanderthals' ability to create tools, use fire, and possibly have symbolic thought and language indicates a high level of cognitive and cultural complexity. Their disappearance marked a significant event in our evolution. What do you think is the biggest unsolved prehistoric mystery? Let us know in the comments. A part of our never-ending quest to find out who we are and where we came from, cave art may provide evidence of a time when humans were first able to etch their thoughts in stone. What do you think? Is there anything we missed? Let us know in the comments. Check out these other clips from Unveiled and make sure you subscribe and ring the bell for our latest content.